Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at the Maps application on the iPhone. So the Maps application has been on the iPhone since the very beginning, but it's gotten some upgrades and improvements over time. I think a lot of people take the Maps application for granted. It can do a lot. Let's go and take a quick look at the basic features with some tricks as well. So when you first run Google Maps, it basically looks like this, showing what you last looked at. If you clicked on the button at the bottom left, it takes you to your current GPS location, sometimes taking a few seconds to locate you. Then you can press on that blue dot to find out more information about where you are. Here's a feature only available in the iPhone 3GS. If you click on the GPS button at the lower left hand corner a second time, the compass will go into effect and it will actually orient the map in the direction that your iPhone is facing. You go ahead and turn around and it will show you what direction you're facing according to the map. Now when you click on the blue arrow next to the location, you go to a screen that has all sorts of information about the location and things you can do with it. For instance, you can instantly get directions to the location or from it. You can also add it to your bookmarks, which is very useful if it's a location you commonly go to or say it's your home or work and you know you're going to be plotting directions from there a lot. You can also go ahead and share the location in different ways. For instance, you can email it or send it via text message. Bookmarks are useful for remembering places that you've been that you want to go to again or even where you parked your car. It's not extremely accurate, but it's usually close enough to get you to the location. Now the key to some of the coolest stuff in Maps is the button at the bottom right. You click that and the screen peels back and you have these extra buttons. You do lots of things with them. For instance, you can click on Hide and Show Traffic to have it show the traffic lines for streets that are reporting traffic to the internet so Google can access them. You can also do stuff like switch to a satellite view or a hybrid map and satellite view as well. Remember you could always take a screenshot of what you see in your iPhone by pressing the Home button and the Top button at the same time. This is then stored in your camera roll and you can email it to somebody or to yourself to remember a location. Another thing you can do is drop a pin in the map. This is perfect if you don't know the exact address of a location but you can point to it on a map. Then you get this little purple pin which you can then press and drag around on the map to another location. From there you can click on the little blue button and get information about that location and quickly plot directions to or from that place. You can also press and hold on this information and it will allow you to copy it to the buffer so you can paste it in an email or something else. While you're looking at directions, you can press the button at the lower right and one of the options you'll be presented with is the ability to look at the directions in a list view, which could be more useful for some folks. When you're looking at map directions, you can choose between three different types of transportation. The first one, of course, is driving, but you can also click on the figure at the top to look at walking directions to the location. Then the middle is for public transportation directions available in most major cities. When you're looking at public transportation directions, you can also click at the bottom right and look at the list for bus schedules and see when the next one and the one after that are coming. You also notice a start button at the upper right corner when doing directions. Click on that and you will be able to track your progress through the directions and see according to GPS where you are on the route. I find the search function in Maps to be more useful than actually searching in the browser when you're dealing with locations. If you want to find the location of an Apple Store for instance, you just type that in and you'll get pinpoints showing all the different Apple Stores in your location. Click on one of them and you'll get a little blue arrow to the right. Click on that and you get all sorts of information and it's all interactive. You can click on the phone number to call. You can click on the website address to go to it. it usually lists hours there. And you can click on directions to here to instantly plot your directions from your current location to the store. Maps isn't just contained inside one application. There are actually a lot of different applications, both standard ones and third-party apps, that access the Maps API and give you directions or locations using basically the same features. So you'll find that these features are useful just about everywhere that location is involved on the iPhone. So I hope you like this look at the Maps app on the iPhone. I find it to be the single most useful standard application on the phone. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.